Okay, so I'm looking at another Munker operating system, uh, and this time, although it looks the same as my previous one, this is actually Ubuntu Mate, uh, and this is Wimpy's version of Ubuntu Mate, which is a brilliant version of Ubuntu, and I actually put it up as uh, possibly my favorite operating system. Uh, it, is, it is absolutely great to use and, uh, and performs really well, and because Munker customizes it and installs things, he puts all sorts of things in here. So you can see 64-bit RetroPie is installed. Uh, you've got Wine Explorer, so that's for running some Windows programs. Uh, you've also got Anbox, which, play, which will work with some Android programs. So we've got all sorts of things that are on here. If I go through, this is just a beta version at the moment, so this isn't available. Uh, so let's just close that. So let's just show you on the Firefox browser how good the support is for video. Uh, so if I go Stadia. And pop this one on because it's got some movement in it and it's uh, 1080 60. And, it, and the performance is very good on this Firefox. I mean, it is good in uh, Wimpy's version of Ubuntu Mate anyway. Uh, so WeatherMonk has done some more to it, but it, overall I've just found the performance to be excellent. So video performance I've found to be very, very good on this. Um, but also what he's done is uh, he's managed to put on uh, Chromium, but it's not, it's weird because it's not in the normal string. So if, if I go to the apps and do a search for Chromium, it doesn't show up. Uh, but if you go to this Chromium Widevine, uh, if you click on that and do run in terminal, put your password in, uh, and for this build at the moment it's MonkeyPy. So it, it uses a Docker image to launch Chromium. So I don't quite know how, I don't quite know what's going on here, but I've tested it with Netflix and it works fine and, uh, and it works very well and it's all supported. So if we go Netflix, hit Netflix, I'm already signed in. Just pick this Michael Jordan one, which I usually pick. Hit resume. Oh, try it again. Hit resume. And it works, and it plays. So he's managed to get that to work. Uh, he's also, uh, so all sorts of programs in here. So if I go into the menu uh, and we go down to uh, say accessories. So Raspberry Pi Imager is in there for writing SD cards, which I really like. So play on Linux, I haven't really uh, investigated that, so I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, administration, so we've got Software Boutique for installing software, that comes uh, in Wimpy's version of, uh, of Ubuntu Mate. Uh, we've also got lots of things like Dolphin Emulator, I couldn't get that to work for me. Uh, DOSBox emulator, OpenRA, so Red Alert, which is one of my favorites from years ago. Uh, PPSSPP, which is with Vulkan support, although strangely for me it works better without the Vulkan support, but the drivers are, are very early. This, as I say, this is a beta, this isn't something he, well, it's something he's planning on releasing, but it's not something he's releasing uh, generally yet until he gets it all sorted out. Retro Archers on there, uh, and uh, Sega Saturn emulator. So uh, we've got other things here, various different things to do with graphics. You can see on internet, we've got FileZilla, BitTorrent, Office Suite is on there. It does seem to have pretty much everything you could want, plus all the games you want and, uh, and all the performance you want. So it is a really, really good combination. So let's have a look at some games. Uh, so RetroPie, uh, he says in the notes, uh, or I think he said on the Discord when he, when he contacted me to launch it from a terminal. So if we launch, so we go to a terminal and uh, go emulation station, hit return, and here you go. And this picks up my USB stick, which is already in there. I've got a, a RetroPie USB stick already in there, and you can see that it moves around nicely. And if I pick uh, Ordinary PlayStation, I found that ran very well. Let's pick Tekken. Now I could lower the desktop resolution, it's running at 1080 at the moment. I could lower it, which would give me better performance. Although PlayStation 1 tends to work very well on the Pi anyway. But it was interesting to see it's 64-bit RetroPie, because a lot of the RetroPies before have been 32-bit. You can hear the sound was working all right. The sound is coming through the analog output. It's not working through the HDMI at the moment again. 
it's beta, oh it's the it's the pad, not the analog stick. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm terrible at attacking. <laughs> Let's block something. That's better. So you can see that that runs fine and the audio seems good as well. I do like the sidestep, although that didn't work for me in that case. So let's quit out of that and go through. You can see there's various various things in here, various systems and all your settings. So let's close that down and go back to the OS. Because I did have good performance on PPSSPP. Oh, just to show you this Wine Explorer, if you double click on it, so you can see the look of it looks a bit like a Windows 95 or a 98, but on the start bar there's just, just the very basics on here. Just enough to run the Windows apps. And if you go into uh, my computer and C drive, you'll see that it, it mimics all the Windows folders. So all the x86 folders, common files, well I see there's nothing in there. Program files, there you go, Internet Explorer and so on. So that looks interesting, but then if I also go for and box uh, and this says that you can but run some basic android apps you'll see that it starts up looking very much like an android tablet there you go and you've got various things that you can do in here so files looks very much like it would on an android device music settings there you go so uh, let's just show one more game uh, as i say this is a beta but Already it looks amazing. This looks like this could be my favorite build. Uh, when this is all finished, uh, it's it's just gonna be superb. Right, so uh, PPSSPP. So I'm using the OpenGL driver only because I found that the performance was actually better from it. The Vulcan driver, especially on this OutRun game, uh, was not looking good. The car was slightly transparent. I might wanna turn that down a bit. And you can see that it looks pretty smooth, looks pretty crisp. I need to play around with the sensitivity of the controller. Ooh. There you go, so you can see that it's pretty smooth. So you can see there's a real full-on sense of speed on this. There is a real sense of speed on this, it does feel super fast. You can see my rival up ahead. Oh, probably should have braked then. And the sound is decent as well. No choppiness in the audio. Oh, oh, oh. That was nice. Oh, that wasn't. Anyway, so Monkey didn't say when this was going to be out, but, uh, but I will certainly feature it when it is out and I will go through the full version uh, when it's out of beta. But yeah, great work. And uh, so Ubuntu Mate is a great operating system. And then when you get Monkey installing all sorts of programs and apps on it, it just makes it even better. So uh, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.